Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with your Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on May 26th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. It came a little late today, but we're looking at our sun. As it was shining for a while, we now have rain. This is May 26th, looking at 304 angstroms. Large plasma filament taking off from the northeastern limb there as well still active but not dangerous sunspot leaving yesterday we had that small CME fire away from the southeastern limb looking here at another light just looking at these amazing filament loops and this is what is incoming right now so that was just after the CME and now we're watching this fiery region come around the corner so stay safe stay aware and prepared my friends and family space weather is heading our way nothing dramatic but it is on its way much love to you all and thank you for watching today I appreciate all of your viewership and as well your sponsors as we have now four memberships thank you so much for supporting the channel looking here at a real-time solar wind as we've had a, a kind of a drop off here at 305 kilometers per second from overnight at 3 333 so watching the solar wind speeds diminish a little have a look here at the Schumann residence residence for today as we have an off the chart look there I haven't seen a, a Schumann residence map like that yet and we are at a power of 72 let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours around the world as it has been pretty busy a lot of action a west side Pacific plate and as well, North America here, looking at this earthquake swarm still throughout parts of Nevada. Kind of quieting down in Idaho. Also a 3.6 here today, California as well. 3.0 in loving New Mexico. But look at all these fours throughout Kamchatka, Japan, and down into Marianas Trench with a 5.2. 5.1 there, Japan today. Curie Islands. And then today also observing a large 4.6, or sorry, a deep 4.6, 557 kilometer depth. So watch for a larger shallower earthquake to follow an event like that. 4.5 here in China. 4.5 Tajikistan, 4.5 Greece. So it seems to, be, seems to be balanced across the European plate and into Southeast Asia. Watching the Dominican Republic still go. Punta there with a 3.9. As well, Panama with a 4.5. South America ringing a 4.4 today in Argentina. And that's all of the earthquakes for the last 24 hours. Just have a look here at the last seven days as we're starting to see quiet again in North America. Those are all late earthquakes. Most of the action has been West Ring of Fire, Southwestern Rim, moving up into Russia. So stay safe, aware, prepared, have a plan. Be ready for anything these days. Much love to y'all. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Tanner here, showing the most recent volcanoes being updated. Ebuko in Russia. As well, Sabankaya in Peru. Scooting through here, Karamiski in Russia. As well, Dokono in Indonesia. Asosan in Japan. Era in Japan. Popo, Kluchevskoy, 
as well as Semeru in Indonesia and Fuego. So that's about nine volcanoes being updated today. I think it's about time for a volcanic activity report. So look forward to that coming out tomorrow. Also observing some extreme heat already. I mean, we are in spring and they're in southeastern Canada towards Montreal, Quebec, already dealing with extreme heat. Central United States, a lot of tornado warnings tonight through Iowa, Twin Cities, and as well some rare tornado warnings going off here in Cuba. And those are still ongoing tonight, so stay aware and prepared and maybe tune in to the live stream. We will be following the extreme weather event tonight. Also observing Etna, who had a pretty sizable eruption the other day. Storms through eastern Greece. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Starting out here, looking at home base Calgary, Alberta. As things were going to cool down for quite a roller coaster event of temperatures each day and still very cool nights. We do have a bit of relief now. We got some rain today again. But it didn't take long for things to warm up after our five days of rain. We had that one sunny day and it got warm and sticky. And I think that's what's happening across North America. It's looking at very humid air masses once the warm air does come in. A very soaked United States. So very dry across Western Canada and Western United States in the five day forecast. Extreme weather running through central United States observing this Pacific low that will split off and bring a little bit of moisture later in the week towards northwestern Canada BC coastline but then yeah across the United States watch for extreme weather here South Carolina North Carolina moving into Tennessee and straight through Ontario up into Quebec as a long convergence line squeezes the crap out of very out of a very strong low pressure system and that was the deep low pressure system south of florida that i reported on last week looking here a five-day forecast definitely something forming underneath that high pressure ridge in the atlantic but it looks like it's going to be heading straight north we'll see what happens here stay tuned to the daily do overlooking europe warm dry Strong high pressure ridge in place, locked right over the United Kingdom. And watch for storms to pop up along the convergence line. Low pressure center developing just north of the Mediterranean. Southeast Asia, watch for a lot of rain and thunderstorms through Myanmar, Bangladesh. Western Taiwan, Southern, or sorry, Thailand, and as well, Southern regions towards Micronesia. And as well, watching here, possibly two tropical cyclones develop the Sea of Yemen. That's right. Two cyclones forming later in the week. We'll see what happens in tomorrow's five day forecast. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains heavier towards Nigeria and western parts of the continent. South America, not too much to talk about. The snow is really starting to pile up already. Coastlines, Argentina. Cold temperatures lingering around. But not much to talk about except for heavy rains towards Panama and Central America. Friday into Saturday, watch for heavier rains throughout Venezuela. Now we go down under, overlooking Australia, and we have still remnants of the spin-off from Tropical Storm Menga, which will be bringing some thunderstorm conditions and some rain in Northwestern Territory. And then some cooler temperatures and some rain moving into Victoria and southeastern parts of Australia. And that is your five day forecast. I really appreciate you watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere, still observing that strong low 
in the Southern Hemisphere. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now.